Hi, my name is Matt, welcome back to the shop, and this is like the update channel -y. what's happening, what's to come. Um, video, this is where I get to just, I was say, be a bit more informal. <laughs> Any road, I must um, just say a few little words. Uh, thanks to all the guys out there who have, uh, you know, watched the videos, all the guys that comment. Um, and, and both comments are, are absolutely great, you know, if people say, oh, these grid videos are fantastic, blah, 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 thank you very much, or whatever, or I didn't know that, or so on and so forth. Um, but the people who turn around and say, ah, oh, hang about, this is bullshit, or this is crap, they're all good as well, you know, I don't mind them. Some people get really arsy and tetchy and start calling you a dickhead or a cunt or whatever, they're, they're fantastic, I love them ones. I just keep on replying to them and just see how far it goes. Um, but I must say, there's a few guys who um, donate through the Patreon, you know, they chuck in a dollar or two, or five or six dollars or whatever, per month. Um, I've got a picture now of the uh, Honda C90 engine, so that's on the list up here. Um, as soon as we've got most of the R5 or the engine back in the frame and most of it squared away, we can. Uh, that'll be a really quick project. Um, and the other thing is, is that engine is kind of going, going to go on the back of the Easy engine, so the Easy engine I'm mulling through, you might have seen the videos for that, um, that'll be ready eh, soon-ish, there's a, you know, I've got a lot going on, because um, I'm trying to, you know, there's guys who watch the Easy engine stuff because they like model engineering and so on, and there's other guys that are just here for the R5 uh, stuff, and there's other guys who are here for the theory videos or what have you, you know, it's... I'm trying to keep a nice mix, not that is, you know, making videos isn't hard, sitting and fucking editing them is a pain in the ass. it does take forever, you have to re-watch what you've just said, you know, at real time, so if I blab on for 20-30 minutes, or I've got like five videos and that's an hour, I've then got to re-watch that for an hour, but it's a bit longer, anyway, all the morning aside, I love making the videos, the editing's the bitch, um, so, I'm trying to, you know, constantly keep this flow of mixing videos of, you know, people get what to see what they want to see, you know, and it keeps me um, not getting bogged down with the same kind of thing. So, yeah, thanks to all them guys, you know, who've contributed a bit of money. The, the money that they've literally put into the pot and the money that I get from um, uh, the, the adverts uh, pays for this stuff, you know, pays for the, this... The, Honda engine, the Easy engine, them components and parts, the Easy engine, you know, it didn't cost really that much, it's like 40, 50 quid's worth of bits. But, um, you know, your money helps, it pays for this stuff. Uh, the gearbox, the uh, GSXR, um, the GSXR, the GSF, GSF uh, Bandit engine, the gearbox that we're going to do the gearbox experiments with and so on. Again, that was paid for by you guys, either through advertising or through the Patreon um, stuff. So, thank you very much, you know, and the channel's growing on at a pace. And the other thing is, you might have noticed that there's a lot more videos flying out. I used to do something else. I quit that recently. It's not my job. <laughs> uh, it was another kind of activity outside work, and I've kind of finished with that now. So, because I've finished with that, I have more time to get on with this. Um, and I wanted to, as Keith Fenner says, um, you know, walk the talk, get the videos out first and week after week start churning them out and then say to you, instead of saying, oh yeah, there's going to be loads of videos soon, and then something else happens that I couldn't, you know, see. So on the board we've got just a list, this is what my lists look like, I've got a list on my phone and I basically just typed out, um, it's in random order, it's the way I think of them. You know, there's a lot of stuff here. The bearing part two video, the bearing video was one of my earliest videos and is now my most successful video. Um, people just don't seem to, you know, grasp or no one's told them how bearings work and um, all the things related with bearings. So I did say at the time, this is like three, three years ago, maybe four years ago, I did say, oh, you know, coming soon there'll be a part two. And I completely forgot, and then someone sent me a message recently saying, um, that, yeah, where's part two? So, part two is coming, there's also part three that I've got in mind, and there won't be nowhere near the gap that there was before. 
and I've also got a project um, which I'll start recording this evening I think um, which is unrelated to all the bike stuff but it's a very good demonstration of using different types of bearings and why I use them and so on and so forth so that's quite that's coming up it's not on this list um, a lot of these are theory videos the so then the config one the Duke engine Napier that's all to do with the um, and the OPOC gearbox test you know there's there's basically just loads of stuff and this is a tiny part of the list I've basically just got bored and couldn't be bothered writing them all out um, so the, the other thing is is that there are comments um, that people ask me either related to a question of what I've said in the video or the comments that are related to something like oh you know you've mentioned this so the only example I can think of is recently someone asked me when I did my I hate 12 point sockets videos and then I went on to talks very briefly Someone said about um, roll bolts uh, versus, you know, machine bolts, um, cut thread bolts, and what are the differences, and so on and so forth. Um, that is a video, that will be a video, it's not on this list, but that will be a video pretty soon, because uh, it is quite an interesting subject. The other questions, sometimes, you know, they can't, they're not enough to require an entire video. So what I might do, I might just give it a go. Um, in the next couple of weeks, I will literally print out all these questions. I'll sit down and we'll just go through some of the answers really briefly, as quick as I can. And um, I keep on getting loads of emails and messages on Facebook of people asking, am I going to do this kind of engine stuff and the theory stuff and all the rest of it with car engines? No, because cars are shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> they're horrible to work on. <coughs> I have done it in the past. Um, there, there isn't really much difference between this and a car engine, apart from this is better. Um, and yeah, no, if, you know, to start doing this with cars, I'd need a hell of a lot more room, and it just takes forever, and the questions that come with it. But if you are interested, there's, um, I'll put up a clip now, but there's a link in the description as well of Engineering Explained, that guy over in America, he does um, this kind of stuff, you know what I mean, he does theory stuff and all this stuff. But more car related. You've probably already seen him if you're asking that question. I usually send people there. Um, that's more car related stuff, you know, to do with yaw and camber and um, you know differentials and stuff. Stuff that basically isn't motorbike related. Um, handbrakes and so on and so forth. So that's your answer. No, I'm not doing cars. It would just make everything a lot more complicated. And I don't like cars. I just don't like them. They are. They're a means to an ends, they're not a good toy, or just, yeah, cars hate them. Regardless, um, I think that's it for the time being. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. One last thing, someone left a comment recently saying, um, can I leave, uh, or can I change the thumbnails um, for the ER5 project, you know, mix them up quite a lot, or a bit, or whatever. Um... Yes, I can, but it does, if I did a thumbnail, I've been trying it recently, but if I did a thumbnail um, for every single video, it just adds a tiny bit of time, and like I say, usually I record 10, 5, 10 videos in a weekend day, and there's two weekend days, and it just adds that extra bit. Now, I'll leave it up to you guys, you know, if you're watching this video and you, you know, watch these um, like just say the ER5 series, you know, it's on 60 episodes already. Um, does it really make a difference to you that all the thumbnails are different? Does it make them easy to spot or whatever? The way I look at it is, is if you're watching the ER5 series, you've probably got one, and you're looking for a particular thing that I'm trying to cover anyway, and you kind of keep tabs on it. So to me, for the ER5 series, changing the thumbnail eh, is it counterproductive? I don't know. You, you know, please you know, give your opinions in the comments or what have you. Does it really make a difference if it's a continuing series all about one subject? Or, you know, is it better to have, you know, changing thumbnails or whatever? Right, see you in a bit.